Hi, I'm Talia from Little House on Laurel. I'm gonna show you today how to cook waffles in a cast iron waffle maker. I bought this waffle maker online. It's made by Rome Cookware, and you can buy it from their website. You can also, you might be able to find it on Amazon. It just depends on if it's in stock. I decided to get a cast iron waffle maker because we'd had an electric one for a while. Um, it lasted like five, 10 years. Um, and then after that one broke, we went and bought another one and that only lasted for a year and a half before it broke. And um, besides the fact that things just don't seem to last as long as they should anymore, um, there's also the health benefits of cooking with cast iron versus the non-stick coating that's on electric waffle makers. Cast iron is a wonderful um, cookware because it's naturally nonstick. That happens when you season it, which is heating it up to high temperatures and coating it with oil um, so that the oil basically gets baked onto the cookware and it's nonstick. So um, that's much healthier than the chemicals that are used to make other cookware nonstick. So um, those are the reasons that we decided to buy this. And I would have to say the only thing that I don't like about this is that it seems to take a little longer to cook a waffle. And so for a family, you might want to invest in a couple of waffle makers so that it speeds it up. If you get a new waffle iron, then it comes coated in wax and that's just to protect it so that it doesn't rust before you use it. Um, but you have to remove the wax before you can use it because you don't want the wax in your food. And it does come with instructions on how to do that, but I just wanted to tell you and show you how I did that process um, to try to make it a little bit easier for you. So what I did was I heated the oven to 400. So you take apart the two sides and you put it on the oven rack for 20 minutes. Um, it's a good idea to add a pan to the bottom of your oven because the wax will start to drip once it heats up. And after the 20 minutes, then I removed them from the oven and be careful because the handles are hot. As soon as I got those out of the oven, I heated them in hot water just under the tap. Um, and once the hot water hits the waffle iron, the hot waffle iron, then you'll notice there's a soft wax, like you can see it. It clumps up a little bit, but it's still soft. So then you're gonna add a mild dishwashing detergent and use a scrub brush to scrub off the wax and run it under some hot water. Now I had to do this several times and not only do you have to do it on this side that you cook the waffles in, but you also need to do it on the outer outer side. So just do that until you don't see any more wax when you run it under the hot water. When you're done removing all the wax, then move straight on to seasoning your cast iron so that you don't have to worry about getting it all dried so that it doesn't rust. So seasoning the cast iron waffle maker, what you wanna do is add some coconut oil to the insides and outsides, all the surfaces of your cast iron skillet. And I used a clean dish towel for this. You could use a paper towel too, it doesn't really matter. You could also melt the coconut oil ahead of time and then just wipe it on or brush it on and make sure everything's coated. Then you wanna wipe off any excess oil because you're going to put these in the oven um, upside down and you can keep the temperature at 400 like you did for melting the wax. 
Okay, so you're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for one hour. You wanna let it cool, and then if you see any areas where it's not shiny black, um, then you're going to repeat the seasoning steps and add more oil and then cook again for an hour at 400 degrees. And I did have to do that several times. There's lots of little areas in here on the inside and then these top areas especially were difficult to um, get that shiny black patina that, patina that you want. Um, but it's worth it to do that process until everything looks good because I got impatient and I did try making waffles after just doing that um, the seasoning process twice and they stuck really bad. And then I had to scrape everything out and wash it and scrub it and then dry it and then do the seasoning process again. So it's better to just get it all ready and perfect before you cook in it. Okay, so once you're done with seasoning, then you're ready to cook waffles. I wanted to give you a rundown of how to cook waffles in your cast iron waffle maker. My process is to preheat each side of the waffle iron on two separate burners on medium heat for about five minutes. You just wanna get them really hot um, before you add anything to it. And then I grease both sides of the waffle iron with a small amount of butter or coconut oil. And it already has you know, the seasoning, but you do need to um, add a little bit of oil to it. Then with my burners, um, they cook, they tend to cook hot. And so I turned my burners down to low. Um, you might have to adjust that a little bit. You may be able to keep them at medium or medium low. You just don't want them to cook too quickly that the outsides are crisp and the insides are raw. Then I add about a cup, maybe a little bit less of batter. You don't want it to overflow, obviously. Um, after I add the batter to one side, then I grab the other side and loop it in so that it connects and I close it. I'm gonna cook the batter for about four minutes and then turn the whole thing over and cook for another four to five minutes. If the waffle sticks, there's a few different things that might um, be causing it to stick. One is that you, obviously, that you didn't season um, your pan enough. Um, another one is that you need to cook it a little bit longer. So I learned um, cooking on low, for me, I had to do the full four minutes on one side before I could flip it over. And then another almost five minutes before it was ready to pull out. So if you if you try to take out your waffle too soon, it sticks. Um, so give it the time that it needs. Um, and then one other thing is that maybe you forgot to add a little bit of oil before you started. After you're done making your delicious waffles, um, there's really not a lot of cleanup that you should have to do. If it didn't stick, then you can just get a dry, clean towel or paper towel and just wipe things down really quick. And that is how you make waffles in a cast iron waffle maker. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon.